Do you know how to fix your formula when the result you get is an error message? In this video, we'll show you how to fix two different error message situations. Rod here, and welcome to Burn to Learn. Excel requires formulas to contain numbers and will display an error message when it finds spaces, characters, or text in a formula where a number should be. The error message looks like a number sign, the word value, and an exclamation point. In this exercise, we use the text n slash a, which means not applicable, as a value of pasta, rice, and cheese. As you can see, Excel displayed an error message as the result each time it found text instead of a number. To fix this error, First, double check your formula to make sure that only numbers are used. If you used only numbers, then check for blank cells or missing formulas or any special characters you may have used. In this exercise, the problem is that the sum column is referring to cells with the text n slash a. Excel can't calculate the sum because n slash a is a word, not a number. So to fix the error, simply change the n slash a to a zero and Excel removes the error message and displays the sum. Before showing you the second way to fix error messages, we ask you to please remember to like this video and leave a comment after watching. Often error messages occur because your formula refers to cells that contain spaces in them or trickier still, hidden spaces. For example, there are spaces in this exercise that make a cell look blank, when in fact they're not blank at all. How do you fix this error? Go to the Home tab and click Find and Select. Then click Replace. Now go to the Find What box and then press your space bar to make a single space. Then go to the Replace With box and delete anything that might be there. If you want to remove all spaces in, a, in the column, click Replace All. Or, if you want to remove spaces one at a time, click Find Next first, and then click Replace. When you are finished, the error message should be replaced by the answer to the formula. Now you know how to fix two different error messages like these using Excel 2016. We'll show you how to fix more of them in future videos. You can review the steps we showed you by clicking on the exercise practice file. And don't forget to like this video, share it with friends, and leave a comment. We love your feedback. And please subscribe to our channel so you can receive future videos automatically. Thanks so much for watching.